y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kayla and this is where I share all about my making adventures. Today I have knitting and crocheting to share with you. I have some finished objects, works in progress. I have something that arrived in the mail. So I hope that you are settled in. Maybe you've got something to sip on. I've got some coffee, of course, and something to work on and you're ready to catch up. Um, I hope that y'all are doing well since the last time that we chatted last week. This is episode 252. Today is October 31st and it is 1016 a.m. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady and I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me as well as links to any project pages for everything that I will show you. Um, the project pages are going to have needle sizes, links to patterns, um, information on yarn used, all of that's going to be right over there on those project pages and I will also link any shops that I talk about down below. All right finished objects. I have one, two, three, four, five finished objects. Three are crochet hats. Let's go ahead and show those first. This pattern is the Easy Breezy Ribbed Beanie <laughs> by the Turtle Trunk. And I finished three of those. Two baby size. This is the, I think this was the smallest baby size. Um, I did put it on my Ravelry page, but I pretty sure this was the smallest baby size. And I used Joann's Big Twist Value yarn in the Heather line of that yarn and the color is light blue. So the they are folded up there, so you can see. They're so cute and so fast, especially the small size. <laughs> then this one is the large child size and this is also Joanne's Big Twist, and the color is Varsity Gold. Again, so fast. These work up so quick. Uh, so I finished these. I don't have any other ones on the go at the moment. I have the project back upstairs. I just haven't started the next one yet. I'm going to do a smaller size. I'm still using up some of the skein of this Varsity Gold, and I think I'm gonna do, I'm not sure yet. I don't have enough left to do another one of these because it was not a full skein. I don't know. I'm going to do a smaller size than that large child and try to use up as much of that as I can. I just haven't decided what size yet. <laughs> but I am setting those aside to donate. I have a couple of places I'm going to donate those. Um, I have a couple of local people. I've, I ask around my church as well um, for places to donate. And I know that some of these are gonna be going to the Cincinnati Children's Hospital, the oncology unit. Um, and then also I have a friend who works at a local emergency room and she said they could use some hats or, and also blankets. Um, so I'm gonna be working up some blankets and hats for her, um, for the emergency room that she works at. So, that's it for crochet items. I also have a couple of finished pairs of socks. I did finish the Green Bay Packer socks that I made for my brother-in-law. These I used Cascade Heritage yarns. I did not write down the colors on my notes, um, but it is on the project page. I can't remember what the numbers were. There was no colors on the tag, but they are listed on the project page. I did the largest size in my sock patterns for these. You can see this is my largest blockers and they are definitely big. <laughs> but I used a US1 2.25 millimeter needle. I did these magic loop. I did 20 rounds of knit two pearl two ribbing for the cuff. And I think, I don't remember. I think I don't remember. <laughs> all of the details for this, but I did put all of my notes on the project page for them. I did the gold for the heel and toe as well. And I still have to make a pair for my sister. These are a Christmas gift and I want to make my sister a pair also. So I've got to get started on those. These have been claimed by my other sister, not the sister that I need to make Packers socks for. So these will be going off. I will be packaging them up today and shipping them out maybe this week, maybe early next week. Um, but this is the October Yarnable colorway. And I did throw an orange in there for heel and toe and it's getting so blown out because it is a crazy bright neon orange color. And I think it worked so well, um, even if it does blow it out a bit still not accurate <laughs> but 
but these I did nine inch circulars, US zero two millimeter. Um, all the needles I use pretty much are Chowgu red lace. Did 20 rounds of Knit 2 Pearl Tubing for the cuff, 60 rounds for the leg. I think that's it about those. I have quite a few works in progress. Go ahead and take all of these off of the blockers. These are almost done. Um, these are in a project bag, no shop, just a bag from a friend that I've had for years. And this is the November colorway from the Wool and Women's Fiber Box. Their November box. It is no longer available. Um, the colorway is Woolen Wild Wilderness. There's their tag. And I do have the December box to show you and it is up for pre-order. So I will show you that in just a minute or just a bit. After we talk about finished objects, it'll be a bit. <laughs> but here's these. They just need the toe. That's it. I did use the mini that came with it for the heel. I am going to use it for the toe as well. I am doing these on Magic Loop. Two separate ones, so they're two at a time-ish. <laughs> Not on the same needle though. I love doing socks like this. I have the Progress Keepers on here that came in the November box. There's a little s'more and a little bear. So cute. Um, what all about these? 64 stitches, knit two, pull two ribbing for the cuff, 20 rounds, 55 rounds for the leg, I believe. No, just 50, 50 rounds for the leg. These are for my son, Wyatt. So I did them his foot length. And I think that's, that's all for these. I just need to do the toes. So I will probably finish these off today. That's the plan anyways. These were my treadmill knitting for a while, so I feel like they got done fairly quickly. In this bag, I have my row one minis from October. This is a bag from Midwest Stitches, a Stranger Things bag. And these are so fun. I am so excited about how these have worked up. Doing them on nine inch circulars, just my vanilla socks. Oh, I'm losing stitches though. Vanilla socks on nine inch circulars. And, okay. Look how fun those are. I love them. <laughs> I'm so happy with these. I did just a white, bare, I think undyed yarn I had in my stash that was already kicked up for the heel. And I may do it for the toe as well. We'll see what I feel like when I get there. But yeah, I'm, I'm so pleased with how these have worked up. I've got some charms on here from the Littlest Charm Co. A little pumpkin and a candy corn. They are so cute. I don't know who these are for. We'll see who they end up who they end up going to, but they're beautiful. So I know whoever gets them will love them. <laughs> I've been working on these in the evenings a lot. Uh, last night, I'm on the blue, the darkest blue. This is the last mini. Um, I don't know if the camera's really picking up the change from the, the different blues there, but you can see it in person. But yeah, I worked on that last night. That's the only knitting I got done yesterday pretty much. I did do an hour on the treadmill. So I got that, but then I did eight rounds of that dark blue and that was pretty much it yesterday. It was a very busy day. But those have been so fun to knit. Oh, I am doing um, 10 rounds per color. Just did the same through the cuff. Same through the leg, that's what I'm gonna do on the foot, just changing colors every 10 rounds. And I am, I have all my ends to weave in. I will weave them in when I am done. That does not bother me. All right, I did not bring down my bookmarks. I don't have one currently on the go. I have, I think I have like nine that are knit, but not blocked. So I may, I would like to get them blocked soon. 
Um, these are something that I am making for some friends and I would love to take them next week um, to let everyone pick one. So maybe I'm close to having enough, I think, um, but we'll see if I can get a couple more done, get them all blocked and ready to go. I am storing them right now. I have one, I'm storing one. I'm storing one, the only one that's blocked <laughs> in a pencil box. It's like the perfect size for this one lone bookmark. I was like, I want something to put them in. I didn't want to put them in a Ziploc bag because I knew they would get all bunched up. Um, but yeah, my plan is to put them all in here once they're blocked. Um, just need to have a big blocking party. I have all the mats out still, like all the T-pins to pin them out. I just gotta, gotta get them blocked. Maybe I'll put that on my to-do list for tomorrow. Maybe I'll try to get a few more done today, put it on the to-do list for tomorrow to block all the ones that are finished. Um, and then kind of reevaluate and see how many more I think I need to do. But hopefully next week or the week after I'll be able to, to gift them. All right, but yeah, I didn't bring them down because I don't have one on the go, but I will show them all when they are blocked. <laughs> so this pair of socks is in a bag from Three by the Sea Designs. The yarn is from Tia's Terrific Threads. It is not going to focus. <laughs> it is uniquely boo. And I'm ready for the heel. I only have one on the go right now, which is weird for me lately, but the yarn is in a ball like this. And I did not feel like winding it off. I am loving doing them like both at the same time on separate needles, but I didn't feel like dealing with that. And I didn't have a lot of time to do that. So I just started one. I do it the old, old way here <laughs> that I used to do it one sock at a time. But yeah, this one I worked on on the treadmill this morning. I started it Sunday, worked on it a bit Sunday evening at a church thing that we went to and um, then on the treadmill this morning. That's pretty much the only two times I've worked on it. And I am ready for the heel. So I need to decide what I'm going to do. I have this green. I thought that could be fun. It doesn't match the green that's in there, but I don't think it matters. So I might do that green. I thought about doing just white too. I'm not positive yet, but I need to figure that out so I can get the heel done today to work on these tomorrow. I always sit down, I'm like, I'm gonna do all this knitting and then I don't get that much done. But Thursday and Fridays are kind of my days. I do have a little bit more knitting time um, throughout like Monday through Friday week. So hopefully I will get lots of knitting done this afternoon. <laughs> we shall see. But yes, I'm undecided. By the time this goes up, I would ask for y'all's help, but by the time this goes up, I should have already made a decision. Um, I'm either gonna do white or I'm going to do that green that I have in there. And this I know is Knit Picks, sw not Swish, Knit Picks Stroll Fingering, but I don't know the color. I don't have the tag. It's just, it was in my leftover spin, so. We'll see what I decide or maybe I'll find some fun like speckled yarn if I have any that's like Halloween-y colors. Gotta figure that out. But those I'm just doing 64 stitches. I did 60 rounds for the leg, 20 rounds, knit two purl two ribbing for the cuff. Last work in progress. I have not really worked on a bunch. <laughs> But it is my scrappy muscle bra hat. Is it in a bag from Stolen Minutes? And I haven't worked on this since, I don't think since Friday, but I'm doing an adult medium and I'm just changing colors whenever. Some of them I use up all the yarn, others I don't. Yeah, just doing whatever I want with it, having fun <laughs> and not worrying about any of it. I'm weaving in my ends as I go, just getting like what next time I sit down, I'll weave in the few ends that I have here that I can. Um, yeah, just enjoying the process on this. It's been fun. This is my first scrappy muscle burra hat. I have those on 16 inch 
Chalgu Red Lace Circulars and US 2.53 millimeter. So I do have two giveaway winners from the last episode. This was for the Midwest Stitches bags, the um, Christmas vacation movie themed bags. So I will put both of the winners up here on the screen. If you are one of the winners, please email me. Um, let me know your shipping information and I will get one of the bags sent out to you. Huge congratulations to our winners. The bags are so cute. I know you're gonna love them. <laughs> All right, I think the last thing is the December Woolen Women's Fiber Box. So I hope you're ready for this. It is a really good box. So much fun stuff, as always. So the pre-orders for this box, again, this is the December box and the pre-orders are open until November 23rd. So let's see here. I'm gonna save the yarn for last. <laughs> I have got quite a few goodies here. So the theme is baking with Mrs. Claus, which I love. I love all things Christmas. I love all things like in your face Christmas, like traditional Christmas colors. That is just, I don't know, I love it. That's my my Christmas, <laughs> my favorite Christmas stuff. So I've got a copy of both of the patterns in here that come with the boxes, um, but you can choose knit or crochet. You can let them know in the notes um, what kind of box you want. All of the information when you go, I will put a link below, I should have said this to begin with, I will put a link below um, in the description box. And when you go to the website, where the box is available for pre-order, all of the details there, there are there. It's a, so much details, but it's so good because it lets you know every single option that you can get with the box. You can get, you can tell them if you are going to be crocheting and they will adjust things for crochet, um, knitting. Um, I'm trying to remember now all the details, but you can choose the full box or a smaller size box and it lets you know what's in each. Um, but yeah, it's very, very good box. So the pattern for the knit box is String of Lights by Sock Witchery. And then the crochet pattern is Mosaic Christmas Tree Mug Rug Coaster Crochet Pattern <laughs> created by Caroline, Caroline. Very, very cute. Then in this box, let's see, it says, bake in Mrs. Claus Bakery extra goodies. There is a bomb bombs hot chocolate mix. It says it is Rocky Road. Wyatt will take this, he loves hot chocolate. <laughs> it's like such a cute, um, the packaging is so cute on this. I think that's just adorable. There is a holiday themed hot cocoa spoon, which I'm gonna use to stir my creamer in my coffee. I used to have such a cute spoon. Who remembers that? From, is mostly Instagram stories, I think, where I would show stirring my creamer in my coffee with my cute little spoon. I can't remember what it said now, but it was so cute. But yes, this is gonna go um, during December to stir in my coffee creamer. So why it is not getting that one. And then there is a Mrs. Claus bakery themed round bottom drawstring bag. And it's so cute. Look at this, look at the bottom of it. Oh my goodness, with the buttons. So it is round. I think it is just so precious. I cannot wait to use this. I will probably put the yarn in it and knit this up this month. I will not save this for December, I don't think. Um, but I can't wait to use it, it's so cute. I'm so excited since I've been getting this box. This is the first one that has like a traditional project bag in it and I'm, I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I love it. I've loved all the other bags, do not get me wrong. But I'm glad that like December's was a, a traditional project bag. 
Um, and I can use this for quite a few things, not just for socks. It's a little bit bigger, so I could use it for a cowl or a hat or, you know, something, something else also. Okay, there is a, I'm gonna try to stick things back in here as I show them so I don't get confused on what I've already shown. There is a soy wax candle and the scent for that is peppermint mocha, which we all know that's one of my favorite things is peppermint and chocolate. Here's the candle. And it does smell very, very good. It reminds me of peppermint mocha coffee. It smells delicious. Then there is a gingerbread house scented um, lanolin lotion bar that also smells amazing. Yep, that one smells very good. Um, okay, that's it right there. Just reading the card to make sure. Yeah, it just tells about the pattern downloads. Um, and I already showed those. Okay, so we also have the, from Sam's Tiny Trinkets, the Progress Keepers. And they sent three different ones of Mrs. Claus to me so that you can kind of see a range of the options that you can get. Um, so this, you don't get all of these, but there's three different um, Mrs. Claus there. So you can see the different, some of the different skin tones that are available. And then I think this right here is an oven mitt. So cute. And now the yarn. You guys, it's, it's, it's perfection. It is Mrs. Claus's Bakery. They sent it to me on their Stellina base, which is so fun. Oh, it's, it's, it's a good one. Those in your face Christmas collars are just, in my opinion, you cannot go wrong with them. <laughs> I love them. Give me all the red and green around Christmas time. So yes, this is the yarn. That is the box. It's such a good one. I knew it would be. I just get so excited about all things Christmas. It is, oh, such a happy time of year. Makes me so happy. All right, so that is the December Woolen Women's Fiber Box. I will put the link for that right down below in the description box if you wanna head over and pre-order. Again, that pre-order closes November 23rd. All right, I think that's all I have. I am gonna go get some stuff done around the house and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get some knitting done. It is a pretty dreary, windy day. Not the best day for trick or treat. Um, I think it's supposed to rain. Hopefully that holds off for all those, those little trick or treaters that are going to be out later. Um, but yes, I hope y'all have a good weekend, a good week until I see you next. Until then, happy making and God bless. Bye.